How's it going everyone? We're back at it once again and today we're actually going to my top five favorite ramen spots in Las Vegas. So without further ado, let's get it. second location. Ramen Kobo is known for making their noodles and broths from scratch and uh, they also have really spicy ramen and that's my favorite. <laughs> okay so Yuri got some kotsu ramen. Got spicy miso ramen, hot level. There is a way uh, a level hotter than this but honestly I'm trying to play it safe. Twelve seconds later. <laughs> so now we're here at Fukumimi. The location is in the central area of Las Vegas, closer to the university. And I really like their ramen here, but most importantly, their appetizers are super bomb. So let's check them out. We got some curry rice here, pickled radish right over here. And we got the kata miso, which is spicy miso. Looks deadly. Got the egg, chashu. Got some corn and the onions. Pretty good size. Over here at Monta, in the heart of Chinatown, Las Vegas, and this is one of the original ramen places in Vegas, which is probably one of the ones that started the whole ramen craze here. And they're very well known for having amazing ramen and a really good price, so let's check it out. Damn. Uh. Yeah. So we're at Genia Ramen Bar, two miles away from the Las Vegas Strip on the west side. They're very well known for having a variety of things on the menu, different appetizers and different ramen bowls. And they're also vegan and vegetarian friendly, so let's check it out. So we made the combo for four dollars and like ninety cents, somewhere around there. We got four gyozas and a salad. A little expensive if you ask me, but it looks really good. Here we have the chicken bowl and the miso bowl. Let's do this. Anything if magic made it. Thick noodles. That's curly noodles. Ooh, they so sensitive. Don't ever fix your lips like collagen to say something where you gon' end up apologizing. Alright, so we're here at Sora Ramen right outside the Las Vegas Strip. It is located in Chinatown and they're very well known for having Sapporo Ramen that is very rich uh, miso broth and really nice thick noodles that I really like. So let's check this out. <laughs> Let's eat. Here we have the 
miso ramen. Comes with the spicy meat on the side. Boom, boom, boom. Let's get it. The broth. Super thick. Bubble shoots. My front chashu here. Insane, super soft. It melts in your mouth. Amazing. This is not part of the video, but it's a new ramen place at the Palm. Send noodles. What? So those are my top five favorite ramen spots in Las Vegas. I understand that a lot of people have different criteria when it comes to choosing what their favorite restaurant is. So here's my breakdown. If you value your personal space, definitely go to either Sora or Jinya. Especially Jinya, they have their own booth, so you won't have to share any elbow room with anyone. When it comes to price, you have Ginny on one side with bowls that cost of $13 and you have Monta on the other side with bowls right under $7. If you value appetizers a lot, definitely go to either Fukumimi or Monta. Monta has handmade gyozas and Fukumimi has great karage. Homemade noodles and broth, definitely go to either Kobo or Ginny. If you love spicy ramen like I do, definitely go to either Fukumimi or Kobo. Kobo has four different levels of spices. I got the second to last one and let me tell you, I could barely take it, but it was delicious. If I had to pick one, I would go with Sora. Sora has great miso broth, they have really thick noodles, they have great customer service, and most importantly, they have their own parking spot, so you never have to fight uh, in Chinatown for parking spaces there. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. It'll help me out a ton. For now, peace.